am heading up north for the final hot tenting trip of the season. It's uh, negative four right now. Getting terrible gas mileage. But uh, it's gonna be a nice day, only a high of five degrees. Negative seven tonight, negative six tomorrow. And uh, just a slight warm up for the next two days. So it's gonna be a nice, uh, nice trip here. About 15 minutes out from camp and looking forward to getting set up. Negative two. Stupid cold out here at the wind. Feel toboggan here. Chugging along. I made it to where we're gonna camp here. A couple guys over there. Whew, I'm out of breath. The snow almost knee deep. Well, at least up to my shins. There's over a foot there. But uh, I'm going to try to find a good hanging spot somewhere in the woods there. deep but it's very light it's like sugar so another five or ten minutes we'll be ready been here for a few hours got everything set up nice got the fire going a little bit of an organized mess but uh this darn chainsaw which has given me nothing but problems since day one um the cord keeps getting chafed on the handle i was using it the thing just popped off out of nowhere so i'm just gonna go ahead and, and <laughs> that's my new handle a little carabiner um We'll see how that works as a, as a pull, pull handle. And hopefully the replacement cord that I put under doesn't get chafed off. I don't know. I definitely need this thing to work this trip, so we'll give it a shot. Do a quick little walk around here. Got the stove going nice, 77 degrees inside there. On the back side here, a little wood processing area. Processing. Got a bunch inside already too, so I knocked this out pretty quick within an hour or so. That might be enough for the whole trip, we'll see. That's gonna be good. Salami and cheese and everything bagel. Nice and hot. All right, 
right, finally taking a break here. It's kind of a hard morning and afternoon, but got a lot done. It was only supposed to be about 5 degrees today. It says it's 12, so I'll have to move my thermometer out of the sun. Got some stuff drying out here. Nice stack of wood. Got a new skillet. We'll take a closer look at that later. I'm anxious to try that out. WCMFM 96.9 Standish, Bay City. WCMBFM 95.7 Ascoda. And WCMZFM 98.3 Sault Ste. Marie. It's minus one degree here. Dead calm. Finishing up this beer. I went for a 10 minute walk and came back and it dropped another three degrees. It's gonna be a cold night. It's only 6.30 p.m. It's that cold squeaky snow. I just realized I left a half gallon of water in my car so I'm gonna go get that just in case I need it eight p.m. native ten five a.m. 14 below. It's a little chilly this morning. Working on getting some heat in here. But it got down to, or it is, Minus 18. My avocado oil definitely needs thawed out. 18 below. Whew. I could feel it in my nose freezing. About 8.30 a.m. We're up to 17 below. The coffee going, breakfast on deck. Got the uh, Covea spider stove this time. I like that a lot. Haven't used it in years. I got the propane bottle kind of propped up so it doesn't feed liquid. But even if it were to do so, 
it's not a problem because it's got a uh, little hoop there, a little generator that will vaporize the liquid into gas before it burns. So, uh, real nice stove. I like that a lot. I'm not sure. I'm trying something new this time. I got a uh, fairly cheap Imusa uh, non stick skillet. I like it a lot. It's very lightweight and seems to be non stick from. Uh, my test at home. Stove is a little bit on a slant here, though, so everything's kind of shifting to the left. Oh, yeah. Nice. I like this a lot. It's about $13. slowly warming up it's uh, 13 below right now it's a nice dry squeaky snow Okay, I split some more firewood that I had ready last night. And the stuff I just processed. Doesn't look like as much after you start bucking it up. Those three long pieces I had on the sled. But uh, it's nice, nice hard maple. previous owners had an old feed storage or corn storage shed so we'll go take a look at that Sure is a pretty spot just beyond our hot tents. Kind of surrounded by these young beech trees. Kind of wrapping all the way around us. I 
was just out doing a quick little hike. Came across this old bench. A beautiful view of all these pines in the distance and just right in front of us here. It's real nice. It's six degrees. Get close to dinner time here. The guys over there by the bonfire. Kind of funny on these hot tent trips, everybody's got one now, so we just kind of sit in there by ourselves and <laughs> do our own thing. But we figured we needed to get a fire going and kind of hang out together at least some. Another, well, not a full moon, but close to it. Just sitting here having some Chex Mix and a little mixed drink, some Beam and Coke. Or actually Pepsi. The grocery store is out of Coke. A negative six. It's gonna be a cold night. Stove's running nice. Got the lights up. Here's what happens when it's really cold. <laughs> it's steamy. Ten PM, just got in a hammock, going to bed. It's uh twelve below zero. Twelve below. Whew. It's gonna be a cold night. I just happened to wake up, so I threw another log on. I checked the tent. 19 below, another cold one, back to sleep. Doing one of these little uh, shake bottle pancake mixes today for breakfast. A little thick. Okay, here comes number two. Oh, got it. Still a little messy with it. All finished up with breakfast. A little heat wave all the way up to two degrees. Got down to negative 19. That was a cold one.
it's another one of those too much sitting inside the tent deals so i came out here to do a little hiking a couple of my buddies were down here with snowshoes yesterday so it's making the walk a little easier but they turned around up here pretty soon i'm gonna go quite a bit further and check out a little creek that doesn't freeze so i'm gonna scoop up some water while i'm there anyway following somebody through here. Such a beautiful spot through here with these pines and the hills. But they're not gonna let that go. They got this place marked up. They are going to wipe it out. In just a matter of time. Getting into the back country here now off any trails. So it's gonna get a little thick, a little deep. I'm getting pretty close to the creek, maybe under a quarter mile. So, hope I'm not burning up more energy and water than what I'm gonna bring back. Oh. And getting thick. workout got a little lost for a minute back there until the sun came back out I picked up this little game troll here darn near a trail I'll have to pick one of these and jump down in there into the creek and scoop up some water all right I dropped down into this cedar swamp Lots of deer tracks, so those were probably deer. The creek should be just ahead. up on some water I gotta hike back through all this at least I can just easily follow my footprints now these are the areas are just so easy to get lost everything looks the same at least the sun's kind of coming in and out so I don't really even bother with my compass, but well, certainly not now because I have footprints to follow back.
Okay, back from my hike here. And I figured now that the stove's burned down, good opportunity to get rid of some ash and coals. Make some more room, more firewood. Not necessary, but gives it a nice fresh start. Here's something new I've been doing on this trip. Just go to the dollar store and get some of these cheap lunch sacks. Fill it up with some kindling. That way you wake up at 2 or 3 a.m. It's cold. You got a bed of coals. Throw that right in there, lights up right away, gets the kindling going, and then you can start adding some medium-sized stuff like I have stacked there and on the larger stuff. And then uh, hop back in the hammock, go to bed. Got the reactor going here. Processing some of this creek water. I had some leftover pasta, so I'm doing that again with the pesto. Really good. A little brew dog IPA. Got a quick burst of snow there, only about 10 minutes, but huge flakes. I'm hitting the beam here pretty hard. Get a little, get a little tipsy. What do we got here? 11 outside, 75 back here by the table. We'll go up to the peak. Ooh, 90. Nice. Feels good. Day number four, there are two of us left. The weather's gonna be much warmer, uh, 42, 43 degrees tomorrow with rain. So I'll probably try to pack up early and get out of here before that happens. I just stepped outside for about 20 minutes and came back and Realized I've got it up to 85 in here. At the peak here. 105. 
Nice and toasty. The bugs think it's summertime in here. Feeling a little grubby, so it's time to wash the hair. Jump back inside where it's hot. It's the last night here, 9 p.m. <clears throat> Getting ready to go to sleep. I just jammed this thing full of three huge pieces. Just so it lasts. I don't really need the heat because right now it's, it's 20 degrees outside. But it's actually going to rise to uh, 32 by 5 a.m., they say. And warm 43 and rain later tomorrow, so probably get up and, and get out of here before that mess. D number five, got some sausage going. Getting real low on supplies. A couple liters of water. The last of my snacks here. I'm just gonna do breakfast and get out here before it warms up too much. 36 outside, that's crazy. They're going for about 43 in rain. So I got most of my gear packed away. Gonna make some coffee and uh, sit around a little bit and head on out. Forty-five degrees. There's just a ton of these little bugs out. I'm not sure what they are. Taking a little walk here, waiting for my stove to burn down before I pack it up. It's hard to believe it's just about 70 degrees warmer than it was 48 hours ago. 70 degrees. Whew. Feels nice out here. Definitely not what I want to experience when I'm winter camping, but being the last day, it's not a big deal. Just looking to get out of here before the rain starts. Look at the size of that white pine. Well, the rain got me. I just started off on a trail here. It's a lot of fun this trip. Good cold weather except for today. And the rain's starting to pick up. 